a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Happy Star Wars Day, everyone. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. But wait a minute, pause the movie. Hey, you resemble someone. Yeah, I know. Who do you think that is? Mmm, I can't place it. Chris the girl. That's it. I get it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a really long pause of the original Star Wars film on May 4th, Star Wars Day. Little Bella had to go for a walk. Hey, Chris. It's Star Wars Day. You want to do something Star Wars? Oh, you know I do. We have to, right? I went to Galaxy's Edge last year. We could have done that today, but decided to do something a little bit different. Watch out, Bella. That was really close to that car. I should pay attention. Since I have a Star Wars shirt on, and Chris the girl is fixing her Leia buns. Those look lovely, Wait, by the way. We've got uh, bun technical difficulties Bun here, difficulties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Well, since we have all that, and it is Star Wars Day, we decided that we must boldly go where no vloggers have gone before. Nope. Oh, wait. That's, nope, nope. That's the wrong franchise. We've decided to go to a galaxy not so far away. We're heading to Emerald City Comics, a very iconic comic book store over in St. Petersburg, not too far away to check out the store. It'll be my first time. And because it's Star Wars Day, they are having a 10% discount on all Star Wars merchandising, merchandising. The Schwartz is strong. I mean, the force is strong over at Emerald City. So here we are firing up the camera. We're also gonna get some food later. Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. So we thought we'd get a little uh, Tex-Mex, maybe some tacos. Here's our experience on Star Wars Day, starting off here at Walking Bella, because we didn't even get halfway through the introduction of the original Star Wars before she started barking at the door. All right, that's a long-winded intro. Do you have anything else to say? May the 4th be with us all. May the 4th be with us all. There's a 4th ahead. Watch ahead. Okay, I don't know what happened. We came back to drop Bella off, and somehow the movie unpaused itself. The force is very strong with my VCR. That's kind of spooky, isn't it? Oh, by the way, this is the original family video camera that I first recorded movies with. My dad recorded a lot of home videos of myself on this thing right here when I was a little J. This special Letterbox Collections edition, right here, this VHS is the original cut. It's not the 90s Lucas updated versions. This is the original cut right here. I kind of prefer it. Oh yeah, I do. And we have departed now, crossing over Tampa Bay on the Howard Franklin Bridge, heading west to the Clearwater St. Pete area. All time favorite Star Wars movie, go! So, uh, it's still Return of the Jedi. Still Return of the Jedi? Yep, because Ewoks. Because the Ewoks are adorable. Adorable little Ewoks. Return of the Jedi actually used to be my all-time favorite Star Wars movie. A young Tampa Jay was quoted to say that very so often, but sometime around a few years back, yeah, a few years back, I don't know, I evolved. I like The Empire Strikes Back. That's my favorite. It's a little dark. It is probably the greatest sequel of all time. That's when we find out, spoiler alert, Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's dad. What? Yeah, sorry to ruin that for you. And it's just so cool. No! That's when we first get a no from Luke. But yeah, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, match made in heaven. I love you. Well, uh, Empire Strikes Back does have Tauntaun, so. Yeah. yeah. You missed it. I said I love you. I know. There you go. <laughs> I know, get it? Yeah, I, oh. I know. I know. And here we are on the corner of 49th Street and 113th Avenue in Pinellas County. Fun fact here before we head in here, Pinellas County is the most densely populated county in all of Florida. A lot of people packed in to a little space. And it says right here on this sign that Saturday is free comic book day. Check that out. 25% off all books from 11 to 8. And right 
Over here is Chris the girl, ready to go. Ready. Inside Emerald City. It's a pretty big building. It is. It's yeah. a huge comic book store. And across the way there, Chris pointed out this guy lifting on top of the gym. Normally people who go to gyms lift inside the gym, but that gentleman right there is lifting on top of the gym. We gotta check him out later. I thought my spidey senses were tingling. Check out Spider-Man here, right on the wall, the outer wall of the comic book store, right before the sign. This is actually Emerald City Comics, Games, and Toys. A lot of collectibles in there. Hey Spidey, I still gotta see your new movie, Far From Home. I haven't seen it yet, no spoilers. I've actually heard a ton, but. Don't, no one say any in the comment section. Please don't do that. And the sun is bursting over Peter Parker. Or maybe it's Miles Morales, I don't know. Could be, either or, I don't know, could be. We're gonna go with Peter Parker though, classic. You do the honors, thank you. Whoa. All right, first glance. This place looks awesome. See some Batman? Ooh, do you see Pennywise up there? Wow. This place, this place, I know. Thankfully I left my uh, wallet at home, so. No, I'm just kidding. Uh. It's not good, because I'm gonna need to borrow $1,399.99. That's how much Pennywise, Pennywise is? Oh my gosh. We'll get you a penny. I see it. What is this? Cthulhu. Legend of Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Yeah. It's a giant Cthulhu, retro figure. style. That is. Legit. The, the great old one. Ooh, we got some horror in here, of course. Ooh, the new blood. Part seven. I love part seven. I need to show those locations. They've been done before, but I'd like to see them with my own eyes. We just saw the Batman the other night, and Chris and I were both saying that Batman Returns is one of our favorite of all the Batman movies. They're, I've never seen these collectibles Ooh, before. It's adorable. Yeah, it's, Leatherface. it's it says it's a knit series, I guess, so they look like they're actually knitted. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's adorable. Yeah, that's a very adorable. That is really Look cute. Look at this. <gasps> <laughs> I might have to buy that for you. So the Star Wars merchandise is 10% off. I, yeah, I know. I know. And I was just saying, like, we <laughs> barely you, made it. How before, much is that? Yeah, I know. This is 40, $35. Ooh, okay. 35 bucks. Yeah. Birthday's coming soon. Johnny Depp is Ichabod Crane right here. Sleepy Hollow. That's a classic movie. I remember seeing that in the theater. All by my lonesome. Ba 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 ba. We've only just begun. Power of the Force. I have just about all of these still unpackaged. Actually, a couple uh, years ago, I did an unboxing of my Star Wars 90 Star Wars time capsule where I showed all my Star Wars collectibles. Way back in the much behind, but I have a lot of these. Not a ton, not as many as probably a lot of you might have Star Wars collectors out there. But speaking of, of a ton of Star Wars stuff, there is so much to see in here. That side, this side over here, more of the newer stuff. And here's some of the Black Series. And, and beyond, we have only just begun. Ooh, it's a Jar Jar. That's, I, oh, already, she loves the I've Jar Jar. I've found the Jar Jars. So yeah. underrated, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I probably just lost 100 subscribers. <laughs> I've seen these before. This is the legendary Yoda. He moves around, lights up, trained to be a Jedi. I wish it worked right now, but this is 100 bucks. So, 90 bucks today. Return of the Jedi. Is that a mug? Oh, this is the hand-painted mug. That's uh, Lando Calrissian there. And then right here, you have R2 and 3PO, and this guy. It says right here on the bottom the original price and price tag on this mug, $7.99 for Clowder Fig. I'm sorry, it's not a mug, it's just a figurine from 1983. This is an original, this is a vintage collection Star Wars of the Empire Strikes Back right there. The iconic spot where, of course, Han Solo gets frozen in, in carbonite and later Luke falls down there and kind of the first spot we see him use the force and leap up above Darth Vader. 
First time he tricks Darth Vader right there. And of course, a lot of comic books in the middle and on the walls down that way. We'll thumb through some comics, of course, but now I'm just showing some, just what catches the eye, especially Star Wars stuff. I see a giant Darth Vader helmet up here. $749.99 for the largest Darth Vader helmet I've ever seen. That's epic. Down here at the bottom of this display case, we've got the child and all kinds of Mandalorian figurines and some of the new Star Wars stuff. And there's Mando right there. That's a cool one right there. What is that? How much is that? $349.99. I don't think I'll be buying that today. And above this display case on top, the Silver Surfer. He's $11.99, folks. $11.99. Chris was uh, admiring who there? Who is that? Sam oh, Eagle it's, from hello, the it's Sam Eagle. Yeah, and uh, the Emperor Palpatine. Oh, yeah. Emperor Palpatine. Yeah. You you want that, don't you? <laughs> the Snoopy reminds me of Bella here, flying the plane. Okay, Chris said two things. First, she pointed out a Lego alien, a xenomorph here. That is rad. How much do they want for that? Two hundred bucks, one ninety nine. I've never seen one of those. What was the second thing? Oh, oh it's up here. Oh, I know you are. But what am I? I kid you not, I used to have one of these when I was a kid. Actually, no, I had the full string one. This is just a regular. Jombie's in the car. The Jombie that I showed at the uh, RetroCon. He's in the car. She reinvented, reunited. <laughs> With the peewee. Emerald City Loose Toys. Check these out, right here. Grab bags. Looks like they're all at different prices. There's a Han there. $24.99 for this guy. Looks like a Black Series Han from, looks like that's, oh yeah, from the original Star Wars. He's got the belt there, the Stormtrooper belt, dead giveaway. I'm all for bonding a lot of things, especially Ghostbusters and Ninja Turtles, two of my favorites. It'd be cool if they did like a, a trifecta there and did Star Wars, Ninja Turtles, and Ghostbusters. I would just lose all of my money for that. And I believe this is the new release wall. It goes all the way down the length of the building here and almost all the way down this way. And behind us, in here, behind Chris, down this way, boxes upon boxes and boxes upon boxes, and some up here and down there of comic books. We are in Emerald City, folks. This is fascinating. I know this place is pretty big. I didn't I didn't imagine it being this big. It's a, it's a wizard's lair that I guess you build out of like blocks. Doesn't look uh -huh. like a Lego thing, but you keep your dice in there. Oh, most people put their dice in here, but you, on a wizard's you tower. need a wizard's I need tower. A wizard's dice tower. That's so cool. How much is that? Forty-four ninety-nine. Yeah. Or... I don't know. Not that. Bad, not that bad. Honestly, to... considering what you're getting, wizard's quarters, the dice hole, the dice holder, and of course the hobgoblin layer. Is that like cheddar here. goblin? I hope so. Oh wow! We got Jolly Ranchers, Atomic Fireballs, and over here. Fruit roll-ups. Takes me back. Oh, and of course, airheads. And the Star Wars collectible keychains, which you just, I think you just grab a bag and it's like a surprise. You don't know which one of these you're gonna get. Yeah, did you see the Emperor? Oh my God. <gasps> That's adorable. Oh yeah. Oh, I want them all. Okay, oh, you should grab a couple bags. So maybe cute. maybe we'll buy a couple of these. Okay, okay. We'll get a couple That's of those. A compromise, yeah. yeah, there's also some more over here, of course, but I think those are the best ones. And they also have Oh, obviously different types. They got Deadpool, Thrills and Chills. Oh, these are cool. Look at these. Oh, They've yeah. got Goonies, they got Chunk, they got Gremlins. It's like, it's like Spielberg overload here. And also Burton. Look at that. All right, do you see it? Right here in front of the creature from the Black Lagoon, you have the little adorable Pennywise. Want that too? Adorable. Do you think? $13. Thirteen dollars. Do you think that one's adorable? Yeah, kind of. I'm not gonna oh buy wow! It. Got Doctor Doom to the left there for four ninety nine, and Pennywise. We noticed him as we were coming through the door right away. 
$13.99 Niner. Yep, you heard a Niner in there. That thing is legit though. It's a, like a statue. Like it's like solid. You could set that thing in front of your door 365. Uh, snow, sleet, or shine, that thing will not tarnish. It will never fail. Oh, oh, it's magic. You know, you know, I didn't play magic, but Chris did. I sure did. I still do. You still do? I do you play online? Play with. No, no, no. I have cards. Oh, okay. Well, I'd like to get into that. I, I miss that whole thing. A lot of my friends and uh, cousins would play that when I was a kid. I was always playing sports, but uh, I wanted to get into that. <laughs> Shout out to Greg's Game Room. Check it out. They got Marvel vs. Capcom. Not only here, but right over here. Back to back. I feel like we're we're finding a lot of not Star Wars today on Star Wars, <laughs> but it's magical kitties. What? Yeah, it's <laughs> this a role-playing is... game. Oh. It says you are cute, you are cunning, you are fierce. You are magical kitties, and it's time to save the day. They knew it. They knew I was a magical kitten. Oh, he missed his kitten. That's a Ghostbusters 2 reference that has nothing to do with magical kitties. Or Star Wars. Or Star Wars, yep. Happy Star Wars Day, Happy everyone. Star Wars. Obi-Wan Kenobi? Ben Kenobi? Ben Kenobi? Where is he? Oh, it is right here. Star Wars Galactic Baking. Star Wars cookbook -y. Perfect. Oh, that is adorable. Look at that. Oh, that is cute. Trash compactor monster cookies. Those look great. Okay, now back to the new release wall for comic books. Let's see if they have any Star Wars new releases. First issue, Han Solo and Chewbacca. I like the graphics here. Look at this. First issue. I'm not going to spoil too much, but I opened it up and it begins with... Han Solo, Frozen, and Carbonite. Actually, I think he's making a reference back to it. I made my selection. Okay. First issue, Han and Chewbacca. Good choice. Were you a big comic book reader? I did read comic books when I was a kid. I didn't, I read them a ton, but I would go to comic book stores and uh, spend, geez, hours and thumb through and maybe I had a couple bucks in my pocket depending on what I had in my pocket I'd buy one or two and most of the time they were they were Star Wars comics yeah I remember one time I went into uh, a comic book store by myself my mom was next door um, shopping in the supermarket so I went next door to the comic book shop this is Greenfield Indiana by the way and uh, I found a, a Spawn comic and I wanted it so bad, I, and uh, I took it to the counter, and the guy said I was too young to buy Aww. it. He would not sell it to me. Well, it's it's very uh, violent graphic, yeah. and graphic, but yeah, yeah, yeah they just popped in there. So, do you want something Star Wars? Maybe. 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 Speaking of Spawn, right behind us was the Spawn Battle Horse in the box. Look at that special edition medieval Spawn, available only with the horse. Next to him, the clown. Oh, the clown in the 90s live action Spawn movie. John Leguizamo actually played the clown and did a hilarious job. He does a little dance in there as the clown, as he did in a movie called The Pest. It's the same dance. If you've seen those two movies, think about those scenes. He does the same exact dance in both movies. Joker. <laughs> no way. It's an 87 shagging wagon. Yeah, chicks love it. That's cool. And some original Star Wars action figures created by Kenner, of course. If you haven't seen the episode of The Toys That Made Us on Netflix, the Star Wars Kenner episode, check that out. It's really good stuff. And the power of the Force figure that came out in the early 90s of Luke right here, the Jedi Luke. If he's got a brown vest on, it's worth a little more money. Typically it's about five bucks, but if you have the brown vest, like this one right here, they're selling it here for 40. And the good stuff, the old stuff, of course, as far as comic books, is always behind the counter. I see some Star Wars up here. Right here, this row right here. What are you what are you taking a photo of? Oh, a xenomorph? Chestbuster. Chest buster. 
by the Xenomorph. And right here, Star Wars. First issue, Twilight Zone. Trading Two cards. autographs included from yeah. the original. Wow, that's really awesome. Yeah. I wonder if uh, I wonder if the Shatner signed one of those. And I noticed this over here. Raise up 20 years of Rays baseball. This little uh, kit here. I thought it was a kit, but it's it's an actual it's an actual book. And I don't want to not share these. Chris pointed these out to me. The Monsters 3D wall decor with the whole family right here. I don't see Marilyn though. I don't see Marilyn up there. We got Eddie Monster all the way to the left. But $34.99 each for these giant 3D just wall figures just to hang on the wall. And I almost forgot to show the Emerald City exclusives. The only place you can get these variants is right here at Emerald City. Grab a couple copies to go. We've got The Walking Dead. Got some Firefly over there. But there you go. These two comp these two right here, we saw them um, over there a minute ago. Those are exclusives right here to the store. They've also got Star Trek. Some more Star Wars here. Maybe I should grab one of these, one of these exclusives. They've got the black and white and they've got the color on most of these. Oh, I'm really liking this one. $14.99. Might have to might have to trade you. Get that. It's a little bit more. It's about ten dollars more, but it's ten percent off today. I think I'm gonna do it. Yes. I'm gonna get this exclusive. Why not? Star Wars Day. I also have some more exclusives right here. So if you're in the market, and you're in the Bay Area, check it out. We've got some old Avengers there. We got Batman versus Predator. Whoa. Some alien. King in Black, see some Morbius there, some X-Men, and also there's Mystery Grabs, only 1990s comics, check it out, and there's, oh, there's another Star Wars down there, exclusive, a lot of people probably would appreciate me showing these, I almost walked out of the store, didn't show the exclusives, shame on me, but I did it, I brought you here on Star Wars Day. To Emerald City. Okay, I think that's about all of them. I think that's it. Okay. See how lucky I we am. We can do an unpackaging. When yeah. We, a little bit. Yeah. All so right. Everybody, keep their fingers crossed for me. I hope you get the uh, the Palpatine. Yeah, I the want Emperor. either Palpatine or obviously uh, Wicket would be ideal. So. He's adorable. He is. I know. So fingers crossed. You'll get. Chris the girl, Princess Leia. Am I, am I dating Princess Leia? This is awesome. You look just like her. I love it. I love it. Okay, we gotta grab this too, right? Yeah. You like it? That Freddy is would. awesome. I'd vote for Freddy. <laughs> okay, one more sticker. That's amazing. It's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. I like I love the spooky uh, yeah, stormtroopers, stormtroopers as ghosts. Yeah, and he's in a little coffin. It's adorable. It's, it's clever. And here we are, Wednesday, May the 4th at the counter. 11 to 7 p.m. 10% off Star Wars. And don't remember, kids, free comic book day this Saturday, May the 7th. Okay, so we're all paid up, and they said... If you open that, you're able to trade it out with the one on display if you do not like what you get. Yes. And that would be Palpatine. So yes. if we open so. it in the store. So here we go. We just we, paid we, for it. Yeah. The trick is opening the bag. Sorry. Open the bag. Oh, what's that? It's a trap. It's a trap. Oh, it's always a trap. I kind of like Akbar. You want you want to save yeah, General Akbar? I Akbar yeah. Okay. Wednesday, May 4th. In the books, Obi One Kenobi released another trailer today. Good stuff. All right, that's it. You hungry? Yes, very. It very hungry. Cinco de Mayo, so I thought we'd get a little uh, Tex-Mex. There's a cool restaurant I found on uh, found on the interweb, not too far from here, and it is very appropriate. Okay, but before we go get food, I had to come over here take a, a closer gander at this guy Lionheart Jim I think of the Jean-Claude Van Damme movie and that guy's probably 
about to curl, I don't know what, 500 pounds. I like his jorts too. Do you see him? Do you see him? Yeah, I think that's John Cena up there. Well, dresses like him. Now in the heart of St. Petersburg, on 22nd Street, a brand new restaurant now open. They got the banners right here. Bear with me, it's a little loud next to the road. But welcome to the Grumpy Gringo. We thought we'd celebrate our Cinco de Mayo a day early at this brand new taco restaurant. It looks pretty cool. It smells good too, you smell that? The Grumpy Gringo, how about that for a name? Grumpy, shout out to Grumpy. And that must be the Grumpy Gringo guy right there. But check this out, look at this, over the door here, this sign, Muli Caliente. That sign is so cool. Muli Caliente, Grumpy Gringo. Oh, thanks for ho holding the door, thank you. It looks like it's a walk up and order type of place. Okay, Chris is going to go with the Cali burrito. What is that, pico de gallo? The potatoes, rice, beans, cheese. Ooh, I like that they put potatoes yeah, in there. Exactly. Over here in the corner with all the booths, the wallpaper, pretty epic. Look at this, classic westerns. All kinds of movie posters over here. Silver Spurs, Buck Jones. And then right down here, Roy Rogers, Saga of Death Valley. And this one's in Spanish, I believe, or maybe Italian. Italian would make more sense. Per Colce Dolaro in Pio. I think that's for a few dollars more. And the salsa looks very fresh. We're about to try it. All right, you first. Now me. That's fresh. That's really good. That's a really good salsa. Got a kick to it. A little kick, not too much. We got mildish, medium, hot, extra hot habanero. I went with roasted jalapeno, the verde sauce and the extreme hot habanero. Ooh, that's With, all you. That's all me, yeah. Even if you don't live in Florida where you don't have access to, you know, Star Wars Galaxy Edge or the fancy hotel or whatever, whatever. Yeah. You know, you can you can still celebrate Star Wars Day in your, in, own, in your own way, in way. whatever way you want to. I haven't always had the ability to go to, to Disney, but I've still always right. celebrated Star Wars Day, I watch one of the movies, I put my hair up. Same I, here. You know, I, I do whatever, you know. Just yeah, same so. here. And there's not there's nothing wrong with doing those types of things. As yeah. as I said, I that's what I did last year. And I almost did this year, but decided, you know, to chill out. Yeah. And, and the food's here. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like the baskets. Yeah. Look at this. Gonna unveil the burrito. So we both got the same thing, but uh -huh. you got black beans. Black beans. And I got the refried beans. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut it in half so they can see it. Let's see what yours looks like. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's loaded. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Made with love too. They took Definitely. their time with it, which I don't mind. Looks really good. And there's mine. Same thing, but with the refried beans. And there's potatoes in there. Potatoes. Hank Williams, the king, in person. Old concert banner here. Jamboree Homer and Jethro and Hawkshaw Hawkins. This would be 1953. I'm a big fan of Hank Williams. Always have been. Used to listen to Hank Williams with my grandpa a lot. Still do when I go visit him up in Indiana. We still throw on the good old Hank. Look what they have on the patio, Chris. Plants. I think I think they're fake though. Yeah. But it's a good try. It's a good try. This is nice over here. Look at this. We've got a little lounge out here. Not so grumpy. Nope. I like it. Here's to the raise. Raise up. Okay, grumpy. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was delicious. Why are you so grumpy though? Why are you, why are you the grumpy gringo? Why can't you be the happy gringo? I like grumpy gringo. That's a cool name. That's a really cool name. And look at this. The grumpy gringo sits in front of these railroad tracks right here there's the restaurant we just walked out you could probably see a train or two and uh, hear it and hear it yeah really hear it from there no train coming right now though hey 
Y'all want to see a dead body? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time, subscribe below. I am Tampa J. This is Chris the Girl, who also has her own YouTube channel. Subscribe to Chris the Girl on YouTube. There's always a link in the description. Uh, we're always hanging out, making videos together. And uh, we have a lot planned this summer. You and I, individually and together. Yep. Um, she, I, she's like looking at me saying, don't, don't say it, don't, no, I'm not, that's all I'm gonna say. There is much ahead, my friends, here on this channel, on hers, and together. Um, gonna make videos, I've said this, I'm, I've made this commitment on my channel several times, I'm gonna make videos to the day I die. You know, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, maybe every day, but I'm always uh, passionate about picking up this camera right here and documenting my experience, uh, especially unique ones like this, you know, Star Wars Day. May the 4th, wasn't originally going to, uh, going to video everything, you know, like I said before, I thought about going out to um, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, I had a reservation, but you know what, I just wanted to kick back and uh, relax and do something different, have fun, you know, Star Wars Day, Star Wars is huge. Uh, to us both, you know, I've, I've put up a lot of Star Wars videos over the years, just specific, and um, the force is strong with our love for Star Wars, and you can see it in your your bones right yep, there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you for displaying my puns on your YouTube. <laughs> Oh, saying that the, the second it came out of my mouth. The puns, <laughs> buns, the buns, puns. Oh uh, my gosh! All right, that's it. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna catch a train here. Yep, right here. Thanks for watching, guys. It's happy Cinco de Mayo, happy Star Wars Day. There's much ahead. So, what's your most favorite Star Wars quote? Favorite ever? Star Wars quote? Yeah. Oh no. That's hard. It's hard. Do you have one? Um, I'm a big Yoda. I like the, uh, you know. I like what he says, do or do not, there is no try. It's a good one, yeah. I like all the Yoda quotes. Yeah, everything that Yoda says is good. Very deep. Especially when he's hitting R2-D2, no, it's mine, no, it's mine, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> Empire, I love that. But you gotta say one. Uh, there's so many, that's the hard part. Just, just say one, just say one. Um, a Jar Jar quote. So are you? So I, I don't know. I knew that, that was coming. coming. How about <laughs> help me, Obi Wan Kenobi? Okay, yeah, that, that was from. Yep, yeah, that's what you're fishing for. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. There you go. <gasps> Where'd the buns go? I know. I released the buns. No. Never underestimate the power of the buns. <laughs> All right. Gandy Bridge. Here we go. We made it back to Tampa. Thanks for watching guys. The next time you watch or click on one of my videos, I will not be in fl all right, I won't spoil it. All right, all right. All right, may the force be with you. There's much ahead. Oh, happy Cinco de Mayo. Look at that cloud. Isn't that pretty?